yeah welcome back guys to fuller guys and you know a lot about twitter tutorial posting to twitter so yeah so this is where we got to we just denied authorization then we did a die dump um using Laravel dd to see the response that we get and yeah so this is where we, we we left off the other time so today what we're going to do is to approve um the authorization we're going to do a successful authorization and make sure that once we are done we will get the, the zero auth token we have your auth verifier so these are the code that we get for every successful authorization and we did that through a dd so the next thing is to write our our, our function to so we are gonna pick extract the value from the array and save it in the assign it to a zero auth variable yeah so we, we're gonna do that so let's do that then so we'll assign our request to a variable say output or response um, request all Terminate it, say response, then say zero out token, um, zero out verifier, response, zero out verifier. Mm. Duplicate. Let me just delay this one. Okay. No. We will establish another Twitter connection with our Twitter consumer key and consumer secret. Now, um, before before that, so whilst doing so, I'll just do a copy and paste quickly to. Um, Rather than so, I just introduced my zero auth token and my zero auth verifier. Yeah, so this this object still picks a parameter of auth token as you can see and picks another of um, auth verifier. Yeah, so I'm just putting those variables in. Mm, let me just truncate it. Sorry to so that doesn't become very long. Just put in my zero out verifier. Zero out token. Hmm. Then I verify the token. So I'm just putting some comments. another request to Twitter to verify the to verify the user token so let me just copy and paste um, I'll say I know pass, pass. yes uh, please so I'll change that to change the zero out request token to zero out verifier sorry zero out access token change this one to zero auth verifier and i put in my auth verifier token so uh, what i'll do is um, i'll do a die dump after here and let me do a dd of the follow underscore twitter connect i see the response the output from the browser and connect again authorize Okay, um, it says mm, okay, it is not what we're expecting. What are we doing wrong? Okay, we need to, yeah, we need to assign this to a variable first. Yeah, we are just doing a dump of the whole object, which is not 
is yeah so I think this is the way forward connect again um, motorize mm. so we have our auto token auto token secret and you have your user id and the screen name so these are the new keys that you are going to use to post to twitter on behalf of the user you get it so what i'll just do um i'll just do a dump of the zero token here zero token here in the secrets um yeah so i want to compare something if the zero or token the initial one and the one gotten from the validation are the same so zero or token is in the token variable let me check something mm, is it worth verifying? we don't need a verifier oh do we need oh, that's a token secret okay we are talking of oh, token secrets oh, this feature is simple yeah we need to do go through the authorization flow again so connect authorize and so yeah we have um, so the token initial token and the one returned from the verification um, they are different so we will use the the last one from the verification to post to the user's account to the user's twitter twitter page yeah so um, i need to take token and token secrets okay that's fine yeah so i will assign the i will assign a new odd token and odd token secret variable yes. Mm, say odd token is equal to pick it from the dd over odd token mm, and yes token secret yes Let's add a few comments. So after adding a comment, what we're going to do is to actually post a status message to the user's Twitter handle. Just change the variable name, not a token secret to match. A token secret. Token secret. Okay, so correct that now what else do we need um, so let's check our documentation twitter zero or documentation so we have um, oh no not here so let's see we'll get post media status update so that's it i'm gonna post the user status with a string so you can just copy and paste but um because my variables are different i'll just do it my own way so you can add a file media streaming error handling mm, change timeout settings you need to set it settings timeouts and we have uh, related projects okay i think we are ready to go yes yeah, so let's define add a few comments now posting to to twitter so we now have public function so it's going to be a, a separate function which is going to handle our post to the twitter handle yeah public function twitter give it a variable of push then start a new twitter connection 
estaba con Zuma aquí, bla bla bla. Yeah, so kindly take note, you can't use my consumer key because after here I'm gonna regenerate a new one. So it's better you go through the process of getting a Twitter app yourself and uh, setting up your own keys for your own test. So the post message will pick a parameter of, oh that's my Java. Mm, yes, install my updates, mm, just put it somewhere. Mm. Pick a parameter of zero token and I'm a token secret. I token secret. Mm. So what next? Okay, next is to Actually set our timeout, I guess, from the documentation. Um, let's set our timeout. Let's use it as it is. Ten fifteen. First, we want to respond to the timeout for the quiet maximum. So maximum time the request is made. Okay, say push. And set timeout. It's 10 and 15 minutes. 10 and 15. So post status slash update. Mm, then you have an array of your, your parameters. A message just click us and just type in your random string so this is my hello mm. just a test another test mm. okay so it will post to the twitter the number is done just return redirect Return redirect to to the home page. So let me show just go and look for the routes. Then redirect um, to route. Um let's pick, let's grab the URL home dot index. dot index um I think that's it we should I can start the whole process again um, so connect rise um, Happen okay. You are always to the CBK. Um, I might need to okay. Let's check our Twitter page if it actually puts the damn okay. There's nothing here, so let's check. Um, let's check. Let's check our code. And make sure. Alright, we 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 are supposed to call the function on the top. So this post message to Twitter, and it will pick was a token and a token secret. And it's a return. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be a process to fail again, so we need to go through the process again. Refresh, connect, authorize. So once you're able to save the auth token and the auth token secret for the user, you should, 
no need to let a user come through this process of clicking and authorizing again the authorizing is done only once so for the purpose of the demonstration um, i should refresh see the new post here so for the purpose of the demonstration okay there you go um how to do multiple authorization but ideally the authorization is only done once so what i'll do is to update the status string to something else to see if um it will work again that's the feed so connect authorize So you should see a post here. Okay, there it is. That's great. Are you lucky? Okay. So in our next video, we will learn how to upload pictures, um, media, yeah, media files to our Twitter accounts. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.